store it as a, as a, as a, as a, as a variable like, but in the case, I don't need it in the, for anyhow, just, just make it like constant. And if in later cases in the labeling, some cases I need it, make it these variables and later use this variable in the later part of the section of the, of the applications. So, so it doesn't, doesn't affect a lot. <clears throat> so the, we, we, we know, so we build the points a marker and we, these points is store is add to the, in, into the, into the maps. So the point part is done. So now we can go to the, the second part, our, our polyline polygon part. We can see build the lines or polygons and also the, from the, uh, from the, uh, from the leaflet. If I go to the polylines part, so it's see the, the same, everything the same, this L polylines, you have to pass the polylines like start points and end points. That's what I mean. The polylines, you just create the start points and end points. So for this case, I also create the 10 points and then I make a random functions to, to build 10, 10 random polylines and pass it the 10 random polylines just like this. So we have a latitude, longitude, and then I can I can here something like to, to make it a clear, a little bit clear view. So so we have a latitude, longitude, and then the start points and the end points, and then you have a white colors. You can put it like the width seven or six, depending how and add to the maps in the polyline. So you build the polylines, that means this polyline coming from the rest service and iterate through these polylines for this case, like the hypothetical iteration of the polyline. Let, let's see how it is look like. <clears throat> so you see the polylines created as a white colors, the 10 polylines, I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten polylines, this works. So you can, you can change the width of the polylines and the colors of the polylines, even though depending your styles, so maybe uh, 10 or oh, 10 polylines tweak that you see the 10 polyline is created. It's randomly created, just like how, what I mean. Different colors and depending what style you are looking for, that's you need to, maybe, maybe green, I don't know, it is available from the leaflets may be available or maybe not yes it is available so so depending so that means we create the the polylines and create it has a has a start points the the starting polylines just random math in reality it shouldn't be the random math random functions it should be the real value from the from your your backend server your your post GIS database or other database, just like latitude, longitude. Just you put it the latitude and longitude and latitude and longitude, latitude, longitude, and it's automatically build your respective uh, the lines, line geometry into the into the your base maps. So, and you can build how many you like to see. So the, depending, this I say, this is the caching capacity, one thousand lines of points. It's, it's, it's depending on your caching how, how it's look like. You see the, the caching capacity. But it depends our application, how complex is the application, how much data you try to visualize into the maps and it is depending on the requirements. But maybe your service is returning maybe 500 record one time and then if you refresh the, the refresh the the maps then in next 500 and then replace the maps in the next 500 depending on your your configuration so your your caching or rendering your capacities that's what i mean but uh, but in the, in the open street map there is no limitation how much you need to but it's it depends on your cache and that's i said the memory and caching or or your application functionalities for the googles there's a limitation you cannot uh, get more hits and then you have to pay money for the for, for google uh, for the Google Maps hittings, so you can. It's possible to build our our the polylines. You see the polyline structure. Just simply change the l uh, the l dot marker because the leaflet and then polylines uh, class and then put your your start points and points for the polylines. So 
Now the most important part are our polygons that we are looking for. Let, let's put it polygons. Polygon part, how can we integrate the polygons? So that means we can block it here. Maybe some, some annotated polylines, they're getting the same, but difference is here. The difference is we define the const, we define LP polygons, same thing, polygon has at least three points. You see the three points, the latitude, longitude for the past points, the first starting polygon points, and then it has a longitude, latitude for the second, second points. And second points, and then it has a final three points at least. But it's possible how many points you need to do to build the polygons maybe 6, 7, 15, 100, 500 because if you if you make a polygons like uh, like one one or one angel like one river or oceans then you have to be covered all part close the polygons maybe thousands of points then you have to be built but it depends how you digitize the your your, your polygons you, I mean the digitizations what I mean here this is this part of the digitization so you have maybe thousands, thousands of points of the polygons, you store the coordinates points, and then you, you, these coordinate points need to be, need to be set, need to be stored into the database, and then this database, and coming this, get these polygons, uh, these polygons into the U-Rest services, or, or SOAP services, and iterate to services, and set these coordinate points, and build the coordinate, depending how many points you need to be, build the polygons points. So we take the polygons objects, we pass our coordinates points, and we set some defaults, some 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 colors uh, and some styling, blue, and then there's something here, like like so better understanding, just clear up and add to the maps, and let's have it on this very simple. So you see the the polygons, random polygons is created. What we expected. So randomly created. Maybe you see that now it's different. If I go to refresh again, maybe it's different. This is because of randoms. I mean, so that means that your polygons object coming from the uh, coming from the your backend server, what you store into the in the database server, this service call and automatically build the your respective polygons geometry into the your vector layers. I mean, this is the vector layers, what you need to register when you register your address, where the your applications, where the user is located, and then you can register the address and build as a polygon as the address, maybe buildings or plots or house or floors or unit where exactly he located, and then he coordinate the, uh, store these coordinate points and call the REST service and build the, where exactly you see in the, in the, in the maps. That's why I say this is the one of the big application, enterprise application. All of the world, any enterprise application, they are like looking for the geo functionalities because geo functionality is a really critical part. They, people would like to see where their service is located, where they are, they are providing their services. Doesn't matter, governmental or saving governmental or private, doesn't matter. They need a geo functionalities like Google Maps, like Facebook, they have the networking where they are the friends is located. They need the maps. That's why the geo functionality is a really critical part. If you have a really uh, some programming ideas, the programming knowledge from the from Java or even the JavaScript or any Angular or TypeScript, it's it's, it's really good things. You are running really good applications because there is no lot of uh, uh, geo developer, geo geo informatics developer to make such a such a geo applications because if you have a possibility that's why i'm trying to give it to you to how can you get really very quickly you are if you are not a geo function geo programmer you you can do very quickly very efficiently if you follow the, the all the screencasts that i have it i, I believe it but that's that's a help, help because this is the professional way i build these applications as i try to give it to you so the points, the polygons, that says everything perfectly works. And then you can even though go to the, the your, even though you can go, uh, go to the, your, um, and, and go to the, also the, 
the GeoJSON files, you can load it from GeoJSON files 